Uh, well, you guys, today I am here with the Lego Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu Season 9 Dragon Hunter Polybag. That's just what it's called, Dragon Hunter. has 63 pieces, and the price could vary, but uh, I got this for $5 from Legoland. So, they are selling it there. And, yeah, I'm going to build this, and I'm going to review it to you, free for you. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get to building. All right, so here it is, and before taking a look at that dragon, let's look at that figure. All right, so for this figure, it is a dragon hunter, one that we have, well, we've gotten all the parts for before, so it's not exclusive, but I don't know if, well, they have had this um, combination of parts before, but with a bit more armor, so this one, not as amazing as those ones, but I mean, it's still a good figure. Um, he has the face that we have used for a lot of the dragon hunter figures so it's pretty cool i mean you do get it here in a small set um cheapest set that this face itself comes in i believe is 40 dollars. So like i guess that's pretty cool same with the torso and legs so i guess that's pretty good to get in a small set like this he has a little stud shooter it shoots a trans orange uh stud so that that's cool right there and it has a little brown uh trigger right there and then he has this dark brown hat right there. So, yep, no, nothing super special for it, but I mean, still cool to get a figure in a poly bag. We don't get that very often. I mean, with Ninjago we do, but like, just in general. There's not usually many figs in poly bags. Which, yeah, that's cool that they did that. And now next actual, the full build of this set is the Ice Dragon. I guess it would be the Ice Dragon right now. Uh, I think so. So, yeah, I think this is a pretty good build for a dragon. Um, they're doing a really good job with um, mainly the brick built heads for the dragons. I like how they can even do a good job when keeping it at a very small scale like this one. Um, its tail is in this um, light trans blue color for the Nexo Knight sword piece. I don't think we've gotten it that color before, so that's pretty cool. I feel like we've got it, gotten it in this um, silver before, but it's still cool to get these here. I like that sword piece, and we'll probably we probably won't see those again for a while because you know Nexo Knights isn't a thing anymore. So this is probably going to be the last time we'll see these in a set. Maybe maybe we'll have them in another thing. It'd be cool if they did. And we have those slightly rare parts right here. The ones a little um, one by one um, pieces with the handle that goes into the clips. That's pretty cool that we get those here. I like the builds mainly for the back legs. I don't know why I like them so much. But I just like the use of the uh, round um, one by two uh, plate. I think that's cool that we're getting that in smaller sets like this now. And I feel like it really helps for that build back there. I really like how that's used. Uh, the arms and legs, um, they feel like they're like the legs. You can't really pose them very much because the arms kind of get in the way. But I mean, it, it's still cool. Um, yeah, you can't really see them back there. And the arms are kind of big, but that, that doesn't matter. I think that's still still works and is kind of more accurate, I guess it would be. And it, it looks pretty good. I feel like the dragon in reality would not be this small, because if you watch the show, it's the same size as all the other dragons, but which would be much bigger than this. But it's still cool, so I guess the main objective of the set is just, you know, take your dragon hunter figure and then you... There we go. That's the, that's the main purpose of the set. So... Um, yeah, I think it's still pretty cool. I mean, I guess they do leave, uh, some open studs back there so you can put a figure on there if you wanted to. I don't think you could sit one down. No. Can't sit one down. That's okay, though, because, you know, it's still just a little dragon. I think it, I think this is cool. It's good for a Ninjago poly bag. We don't, like, get good ones of those very often. But I have to say, this one is actually pretty good. I really enjoy this poly bag. I think it's cool. Uh, I really like the build for the dragon. And I like that you get this figure in a cheap set, too. That's pretty cool. 
And yeah, um, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. But yeah, I think this is a pretty cool set. I like it. It is nice. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.